It's January and my new year resolution is to find the perfect sensitivity. And to be honest with you guys, I am awful at finding a good sensitivity. As this graph from 2007 to 2021 will explain to you guys. So what am I doing wrong? Luckily for me, we have apps and videos with hundreds of thousands of views that clearly say that I can get the perfect sensitivity. So today I decided to test it out. Welcome to my journey in finding the perfect sensitivity. I started by watching a lot of videos. Sadly, most of the points and exercise to do to find the sensitivity I already did. Until I stumbled across the Oblivity Sensitivity Finder. Was this my savior of years with unstable sensitivity? Well, this began my four day long quest to find the perfect sense. So what is the sensitivity finder you may ask? The sensitivity finder is a game mode where you will pick a specially curated playlist for your game. I of course pick CSGO. And then without adding any sensitivity into the game, you just start the playlist. So how did it go for me? Before this, this was what my face it looked like. And after this, well, I will tell you in the end, so stick around. Before I started, my sensitivity was at 800 dpi and 0.75 in-game on CSGO. So for day one, I had some problems setting up the app. Swipe to the right with your mousepad and click. With the scan mode, oh, I gotta restart this. But after I got it running, I started up the sensitivity finder. I'm gonna finish. Hello. In oh. this short video, oh. you will learn how to use the sensitivity finder correctly. Oh, According to the it. game you have chosen, you will play different scenarios. Each round, the mouse sensitivity changes and analyzes your performance. Mm -hmm. Playing the right scenarios okay. is crucial. For example, grid shot isn't a good scenario for finding True. your Valorant sensitivity. We recommend playing through our game-specific calculation playlist. Oblivity right. needs a lot of data. That's why you'll get a better result the more you play. After finishing the playlist, the sensitivity the game gave me was 1.2293, so I'm gonna call it 1.23. And I was shocked. This was an increase of almost 0.5, which in the sensitivity aspect is insane. Had I been playing on the wrong sensitivity for over a year? Well, after loading up a game of CSGO. Oh, just. Oh, let's see that. Doesn't. Doesn't. Like, it feels, of course, different. I think where you're gonna see sensitivity changes is with your op. I quickly realized that this did not fit me or my playstyle. Oh, open up! Already up! Already up! Damn, the wrist strikes. I got bomb dropped, guys. Bomb dropped. Rotate, rotate. Apps on Apps on A. Nice. Please <laughs> just walk into me. Yes, the ramp. Up, up. <laughs> well. So after this game, I was quite nervous if Oblivity might have just been a dumb scam I wasted $10 on. Well, we'll have to see on the other days. On day two, I loaded up Oblivity and did my normal routine. But after I finished the routine, I realized I did way better on lower sensitivity. And after I finished my routine, my in-game sensitivity for CSGO was 0.73. Now it had decreased exactly 0.5 from day one. And it was 0.02 lower than my original sensitivity. This time I decided to convert this sense to Valorant and I played a game of Valorant. Uh, I don't know, we yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. One minus hundred and forty one. Oh. Hello. Adlet. Oh, the fuck? GG, GG. GG, have a nice day. You too, man. You too, you too. I did not feel much different since this was so close to what I usually play on. And after this day, I kind of noticed that the system were not built for me. Let me explain. I have played on the sensitivity 0.75 for almost a year now. I have found this by trial and error over months of testing. And I started to see on day 2 that Oblivity was making my sensitivity 
to what I used to have. Well, we have to wait and see if this was the case. Day 3 came fast and I queued up for another session of Oblivity. This was my second to last day and I wanted to see some big improvements. After I finished my last part, I got the recommended sensitivity 0.84. This was a jump of 0.12 from yesterday and a 0.09 from my old sense. When I saw this jump, I got excited. I loaded up in a Valorant game and it felt great. Jump. Nice. I'm sticking. <laughs> On B. Hey. One back side. One enemy remaining. Close game, like that. Close game. I still had the control I wanted. After the game, all I could think about was day 4. What could my final sense be? Would it be much higher or lower than it used to be? Well, it was only one way to figure out. On day 4, I woke up and all I could see was those demonic red targets. No matter where I looked, it was everywhere. On my phone, in the mirror. Was I dying? Well, on day 4, I queued up another session on Oblivity. And I played through with the feeling of excitement and anxiety. And when I approached the last round of my session, and I saw the sense, I got quite disappointed. But as well reliefs, my sense for the final day was 0.77. A 0.02 increase from what I used to have. I played 2-4 Valorant games and 2 CSGO games, and it was no different. Yes, I changed the sense, but by a, such a small margin that it didn't matter. Oh, nice. And there? There? <laughs> nice. And there too, there too, there too. And I told her. Det var han. Det var han i alla fall. Är det lika ak och det är inte ak och nånsin. Är det tänkt du är kvar? Det är lika. Vi kan inte gå nåt. Är det han ska vinna? Vad är det han säger? Men fy faen, det er clean runde da. Helvete, han var det eagles. Ganske low bar, altså. De slår. De slår. Nice! Jeg lever da. Kjempebra. Du står flink. Ja, det der var. Altså, jeg traff, eh, should be tied, more should be tied. Tag, tag, tag. She's tagged, yeah. Probably. Nice. You. Nice one before. One before. So what does this mean for you? Well, if you're new, this app will save you 20 plus hours of doing testing and more to find your perfect sensitivity. And for a beginner or intermediate player, I recommend this. But for me, who have used all of these hours finding my sensitivity, it was frankly a waste of money, since I already knew the perfect sense. But here we have to put it out there. I am already used to this sense, so maybe over a longer period this could have changed. But for now my sense stayed 0.77. So in the end, this is what my face it looks like. But if you already have a sensitivity you like, then this is a big waste of money. And remember, as long as you like the sensitivity, that's what matters, nothing else. Thanks for watching.